there. This is Steven. Steven Santer. And uh, so I'm starting a new thing where I play video games and I play them for an hour and uh, I drink whenever I die. And typically I plan on doing this with very difficult games but in this case I decided I should do the first episode playing my favorite game which is a Link to the Past. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. So, I decided with this one I'll make it I so I have to drink every time I get hit. And uh, at the end of the game, at the end of the one hour mark, oops, I will stop playing and and I will judge the game the game's difficulty based on how drunk I am. Like whether I got sick or not. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start the hour counter in the next 30 seconds once the game actually starts. So as soon as Link jumps out of bed is when I'll start I'll start the stopwatch. Alright, going. Now I've played this game a lot as a kid. And even more post childhood. So, I know my way around. It won't be long before I'm in the battles, and we'll start to take damage. Now, this is actually my first time playing this game on the Wii U Virtual Console. So, I'm just making sure I get the controls right, even though the Pro Controller, as well as the Game Pad, pretty much has the same setup as the Super Nintendo. So, I shouldn't have any problems. Yep, we're good. You know, actually, I'm going to make this fun. I'm going to make this more challenging. I have to drink every time I enter a new area. So, I'm drinking right now. Oh, that's two drinks. Fool. Ah, <clears throat> so <coughs> this video game is probably my favorite game that I've ever played. It's what kickstarted me enjoying video games as a young child. And I never completed the game until I was I think I was 13, maybe 14, and uh, I finished it on the Game Boy Advance version. So I never finished the SNES version until later down the line, which I, which I have now. I have completed the SNES version a couple times now, and I also completed it a couple times on the Virtual Console for the Wii, but not the Wii U. I just bought the Wii U version. So. I've entered two areas now. And I'm going to say areas like the castle. Or the castle courtyard. Not every screen. So, like, if I enter a dungeon, I have to drink. Because I am decent at this game. So getting hit is not going to be super common. But with an hour... Within an hour, I might be drinking quite a bit. So in the future, I plan on doing more difficult games. I think the next one I'm going to do 
is Ninja Gaiden for the NES. And uh, one thing I did forget to mention is most of the time I will be playing games that I have never played before. So Ninja Gaiden, for example, is one of those games. I've never played Ninja Gaiden before, the first one. I've played the Xbox One, and uh, the, I think I've played Ninja Gaiden and Ninja Gaiden Black. But I've never played two or three, and I've never played any of the original Ninja Gaiden games, just the 3D ones. So I'm not like crazy good or anything. I'm not a speedrunner by any means. Don't expect that. However, you can expect at least a decent amount of skill because I do love Zelda. And I think I'm going to add another rule to this mix. Anytime a significant event happens. So I'm going to drink because saving Zelda is a significant event. Now for what I'm drinking, I'm starting out the night with Blue Moon, and after I drink a few bottles of that, I'll probably be switching to Atlantic Blueberry Ale, which is a local uh, company in Maine, uh, Bar Harbor Brewing Company, Atlantic, I should say, Brewing Company based in Bar Harbor. And I really, really enjoy their Blueberry Ale, it's one of my favorite Blueberry Ales that I've ever had. And uh, I also have some Heineken and I have some Allagash ready to go. So really I can mix it up. And I realized I got hit so I'm going to take a drink. <laughs> now I'm also interested in possibly having my uh, having other people do this while they commentate and they drink and I could co-commentate while I'm not drinking so I'm getting hit like a fool I should also add since this game is easy I went ahead, oh my, I got hit again. Since this game is fairly easy, I do not expect to die. There, and that's why I made getting hit the rule. But, I have, I have decided, I'm trying to focus, I'm sorry. Uh, I have decided that, uh, so every time I enter a new area, so this is the sewers, so I have to drink once, and I got hit here, so I have to drink again. And every time a significant event happens. So those are the rules, and I promise I won't add any more. Oh man, three drinks now. I guess I'll do it now, since I bought. I can just wait. Yes, but back to what I was originally saying, I, I had actually forgotten. Um, since this game is fairly easy, I also decided to do this while on a fairly light stomach. So it's going to be easier for me <laughs> to get intoxicated, <laughs> as bad as that might sound. And I drank. Because I got hit. And I'll keep you informed on how much I have drank over the course of the night. Every time I finish a bottle, I'll let you know. This is a very experimental series. Being it is my first one, I apologize for any flukes. 
And I have to drink twice, so I'm going to do it in the doorway where I'm safe. Ugh, got hit again. That's This is going to start... <laughs> This is going to end up being really hard if I keep getting hit. I swear it's not on purpose either. Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh no, <laughs> it's two drinks. Oh, sh uh. three drinks coming right up. Okay, I thought I'd be safe in the doorway there. Apparently not. So. I already drank one blue moon. And I'd also drank one before I even started. So I'm cracking into the third one now. And that one, that hit right there, I'm going to go ahead and count. And that one too. I didn't even see that rat. Man, I'm almost dead. So two drinks. So getting Zelda to the sanctuary, I'm going to consider a a uh, significant event. And I'm going to drink for saving her in celebration. Oops. Oops. Oh, man. There we go. I am 11 minutes in. Saving Zelda was a good time. I'm sure she'll be safe here. Right, guys? Ha. 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 Get it? For those who've never played the game, you'll you you might see, you might not. I might get too drunk. We'll see. We'll find out. Ten minutes in, eleven minutes in. Sorry, and I'm already drank three beers. That's probably not good. <laughs> Maybe I added too many rules. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna play with it. We're gonna go with it. We'll see where it takes me. <laughs> oh god. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I forgot about the bombs. Ugh. Why am I even cutting the grass? Why am I even doing that? So there's one drink. Yeah, right. I'm not gonna play around with these guys. If I'm not careful. Things could be bad. So, uh, I've never really, I've, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've never really done anything in this sort of thing, <laughs> in this sort of genre of YouTube video, uh, um, I know people who do Let's Plays, I'm not typically one of those guys who would do Let's Plays, unless there's a creative spin on it, or some kind of spin on it, at least, I... I really appreciate it when uh, when people add creativity to their work, and I, I understand the appeal of Let's Plays, like, Let's Plays are totally cool, but they're just not normally my bag, I, I don't really care for them, but I love speedruns, that's kind of my jam right there. I, actually, speaking of which, uh, Awesome Games Done Quick 2014 is going on right now, or 20, holy shit, it's 2015. 
Awesome Games Done Quick 2015 is going on right now. <laughs> I'm in disbelief that it's already 2015. That's crazy. Why am I cutting the grass again? What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <sighs> so, um... Ah, trying to figure out. Okay. Simple enough. Uh, so I've never... I don't even know what I was going to say originally. I was, I'm too focused on figuring out how to get the bombs out. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down and I'm going to bomb this door open. This this little shed. You can bomb it open. I don't have... And it's crazy that I like know all this stuff. Because this is so far like in ancient history in my mind like I don't know how I know it and it must be like just through experimentation as a kid like I just must have figured out a bunch of stuff like that like me and my older brother used to play this game when we were young you know he's three years older than me so he kind of got it and I was like four or five so I had no idea what I was doing but, uh, you know, we always struggled. And I got hit, so I'm going to drink. I also entered a new area, which I never drank for, so I'm going to drink again. New area being Hyrule as a whole. Uh, I'm going to pretty much count, like, dungeons and extensions of dungeons. So, for example, Hyrule Castle I would drink for. And uh, the Hyrule Castle sewers I would drink for. Another example would be the desert I would drink for. And the desert, like the upper floor of the desert, where af you can go after you get the, the gauntlets. I'm going to count those. So I'm going to go ahead and stop douching around. And I'm going to try to get the bug net. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm just going to run down here and grab the bottle. And then I'm going to buy a bottle as well, because I can do that. And, <laughs> well, I'm 15 minutes in. 15 minutes and 47 seconds. And, uh, so I'm going to get the net, and then I'm going to... I got that bottle, I got the net, I got the bombs, and I'm going to get the second bottle by buying it. Thank you, bug kid. How bizarre that kid is just sick, so he gives you his his net. If I was sick and my friend came to my house and was like, Yo, dude, you want something? I'd be like, Hell no. I wouldn't expect that guy to give me anything. Oh yeah, I could probably go up into this area and do the puzzles. Ugh, I can't even get through the doors. <laughs> so... <laughs> My alcohol tolerance is actually pretty decent. However, when I don't <laughs> when I don't eat, it's not the best. And I have not eaten since about 2:30 p.m. and it is 8:19 p.m. right now as I'm talking. And I had a very light lunch and I also had a light breakfast. So I haven't eaten a lot today. But I have eaten enough. And I love how, even while drunk, I know how to do this puzzle perfectly. I mean, I'm not really drunk, but you get me. I am definitely buzzed. That is a thing right now. So, I'm buzzed. Which is saying something. Because this game, being as easy as it is, comparatively to other games I might play in this series, <laughs> uh, might be kind of bad. Might be bad that I'm already buzzed. Alright. So I think I pretty much got everything I can get in the village. I'm gonna go ahead and run down here. I I keep like thinking I should Pegasus boot, but I don't have the boots yet, so we'll get there. We'll we'll get there. No problem guys. <clears throat> I don't <laughs> I don't expect anybody to uh I don't know what I was going to say. 
I keep forgetting. Because I'm so focused on not screwing up in the game. And it keeps messing with me. Because I'm trying to focus on a lot of stuff. Being this is my first time, I'm not very... I have a nice... I have a pretty decent capture card. Um, I'm just running through Audacity with my... Uh, my my headset that I use for PC gaming uh, so the quality is not going to be amazing but I hope it's good enough I'm sure it is and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying so far um, so I'm gonna run up here and I'm going to I'm just I'm not even gonna talk to the dude actually I'm gonna go in because I can blow up the wall and I can grab some loot. If it weren't for that, I would have just come later when I could get the boots, but I don't care. I'm grabbing this stuff now. Who knows? Maybe the bombs will help me, even though they probably won't. But yeah, so I came. Like I said, no speed runner. I just do my thing. I go as it please me. <laughs> I go as it pleases me. Have I not got hit? <laughs> Apparently I'm a I'm a badass. I'm a, I'm a high rule badass. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and consider this area as its own zone. So I'm going to drink. And Oh shit, got hit, of course. Yeah, the language in this series, <laughs> I can, I'm definitely gonna just straight up say I'm not gonna be able to control myself if I end up getting drunk, because I really don't give a fucking shit. <laughs> and dungeon, so I'm gonna drink. I don't know, we're, we're pretty lenient about this stuff, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh man, I'm just, I'm really happy that I'm playing this game right now. I have not played this game in far too long. And by far too long, I mean like, uh, I don't know, a few weeks. <laughs> not a few weeks, I'm a fool. Far too long, as in, man, I can't think of the last time I played this game, but it was definitely more recent. It wasn't too long, maybe a few months. But I, I have not sat down and played through the game. Oh wait, no, I'm thinking of Link Between Worlds. That's the game I played recently. I haven't played this one in probably a year. I think I did beat it last year, actually. Because last year, during the summer, I uh, I went through A Link to the Past, I went through Zelda 1, I went through Ocarina of Time, and I went through Majora's Mask. I kind of destroyed a lot of the big games in this, in this franchise. A lot of them are my favorite games, too. Like Those four games... To me, boom. Play those for years without getting bored. Over and over again. As long as I'm not playing the same one over and over again, I could keep, I could keep playing it. Especially with Zelda 1 having second, uh, the second quest. That definitely adds replayability to me. And I really love how the new Zelda games are getting a lot more of that. Um, Hero mode is just so great. I love it. Uh, can't open that yet. I'm a fool. I am a fool. I'm an absolute fool. <sighs> so, I am halfway through my third blue moon as an update on that. And I'm going to slide right through there. Um, if I end up playing other Zelda games in the future doing this... I will definitely try to establish the rules before I start playing. As I said, this is the first the first time trying this, so it's pretty experimental. I'm trying to figure stuff out, and I'm just kind of... At this point, I am just kind of playing. Oh my god, those guys are right behind me. <laughs> oh, if they had hit me, that would have sucked. But it's pretty experimental. Uh, I'm trying to figure stuff out. 
trying to figure, you know, where uh, <laughs> where my limit would be, depending on, you know, many different factors. Like, for example, if it was every screen in A Link to the Past, I'd be so drunk right now because I've entered lots of areas. But if it was, I don't know, uh, every time I get hit, as well as every time I heal that hit, it would be a little bit better than that. Because I could probably try really hard to not get hit. And then the few times that I did get hit, I'd only have to heal that one time. And it would stay, stay on for a while. I hate these guys so much. I should have used the pots, on, pots against them. And I got hit. Great. And I'm going to go ahead and call getting the boss key is a significant event. So I'm going to drink twice. Which I just did. Oh, no! Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> uh, so. Um, I'm just going to talk. Like, uh... A Link to the Past is probably my favorite game ever made. Uh, primarily because I'm completely biased as it is the first action-adventure game I ever played. Oh, I'm a fool. I have the big key. What am I doing? Uh, it is the first action-adventure game I ever played. Ever. In my whole life. And that's crazy. Because I love action-adventure games. They're so fun. Like, I've recently been playing Far Cry 4. Which, <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's it's an action-adventure RPG, that's for sure. And I love the exploration of a lot of these games. Oh, man. I just got hit twice, didn't I? Crap. So I'm going to drink twice. Alright, so... I love exploration. Like, exploration in video games is just... Like, oh man, these guys are on me right now. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I swear to god I walked over that rupee. Did I not walk over that rupee? Because... <laughs> in my current state, it seemed as though I walked over that rupee. Anyway. Uh... Action adventure games, I just really love because uh, they they have they offer a big world for you to explore, and that's the adventure portion of the game. The action part of the, part of the game is the combat usually, <coughs> and so in an action adventure game, I expect a developed combat. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me! I did not mean to walk through that door. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. Uh, in an action adventure game, I expect developed combat as well as developed environments. So, in this game, a lot of enemies have, you know, many ways to kill them or one particular way to kill them, and that's what I love about it. Like these skeleton guys, a good way to kill them is to use the environment against them, like throwing a pot at them. Or, by spinning and cornering them. That's a good way to kill them. These guys, these Colossus guys, the guys with one eye, good way to kill them, bow and arrow. You know? So, that, that's the kind of game, that's the kind of combat I liked. Uh, another good example of a uh, video game that I really like, a video of good action-adventure genre. Oh, crap, these guys can only be injured by the arrow. The green ones can be injured by other stuff, but red ones are only arrow. Um, the Batman Arkham games. Uh, I really love the free flow combat. Very fun. Uh, me and my friends always compete scores. And, uh, you know, like, with the whole, like, some of the enemies are armored. Oh, man, that's two hits right there. And some of the enemies being armored, you have to use specific means to kill them. And... And <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna focus. I'm sorry. I have to stop. I got hit four times. Ugh. Thirteen arrows left. Oh, 
Yeah, suck it! 28 minutes in! Alright, so. A lot of the enemies, like the armored enemies, you have to hit them with the cape, and then you have to do the long combo sequence. That's really cool. That is a cool thing to implement in your game. Give enemies the, uh, the variety. Alright, so I have to drink. And I did not plan for this, so I'm going to stop the stopwatch real quick. I have to get a bottle opener. I'm a fool. I have to get a bottle opener. I'll be right back. And I'm back. That was quick. See? I will not let you guys down. I'll always make stuff quick like that. I had to get a bottle opener because I'm switching to my Atlantic Blueberry Ale. I'm not sure what percentage this ale is. It doesn't say, so it's probably less than 5%, but I don't think it says. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm not sure what percentage of alcohol it is, but we'll, we'll work with it. So now that I'm back, I stopped the stopwatch again, and I'm 28 minutes in, almost 29. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can finish the next dungeon. I'm going to try to rush through it. But yeah, the free, the free flow combat. Uh, some enemies you have to stun like with the shields and then jump behind them. Very cool. That game's combat is very refined. And it still has a lot of uh, exploration to the game. Although it does not have as much as some other action-adventure games. Uh, it, it is definitely a series favorite. I've, I never finished Origins because it crashed three times on my 360 after it corrupted my save where I was halfway through the game. But uh, the other games in the series, it has, uh, it has definitely proven itself and Rocksteady uh, have proven themselves to me as a creator that they can, do, they can do some crazy stuff. I'm really looking forward to Arkham Knight, the next installment. By Rocksteady. So I got hit twice. <laughs> and that's demonstrating how much I have drank so far. Alright, crack it into this Atlantic Blueberry Ale. Great. Drink twice. Oh, I am such an idiot. I have to go back and get the Pegasus boots. I am a... I'm a complete moron. A complete moron. A fool. A complete fool. We'll see how this happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see how this works. <laughs> so, um, I'm trying to think, like, uh, I guess another good game I, uh, I really enjoy. God, pretty action adventure -y. Pretty action adventure -y. Also somewhat beat em up. Uh, the God of War franchise. I really like the God of War franchise. Because the combat's fun. It's very, not necessarily beat em up, but uh, Devil May Cry style. Uh, not not as hardcore, obviously. But it has the combos and, uh, you know, the multipliers and all that. And uh, uh, Bayonetta I picked up recently. I've never played Bayonetta 1, but uh, I got Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U, which comes with 1. And uh, I'm really excited to play more of it, because from what I've played, it was fun. Uh, I've never really played Devil May Cry. Uh, but Bayonetta, I've, I've been enjoying as far as I've been playing. We'll see how that goes. And I got hit, so I'm going to drink. So feel free to uh, leave a comment about what you would like to see me play in the future in this fashion. Ah, oh, Pegasus Boots, I love you. Help me get to destination so quickly. I love it. Look at that. Oh, hit the wall. No big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, because I won't hit the wall. And I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do that! <laughs> And I'm going to hit this. No, wait. It's the other one. I'm a fool. I'm a fool! Oh, wait. 
I thought there were apples in that one. Is it this one? Ah, oh, I'm such a fool. I'm such a fool! If you see me in real life, you can call me a fool all you want. For the rest of my days, refer to me as the fool. I'm a fool. <laughs> fool is the word of the day. And what do I have to do? I have—I feel like I have to do something. Oh, I have to get the book. I'm an idiot. So, I'm 32 minutes in. I'm going to just rush this right now. I'm doing this. I'm finishing the second dungeon for you guys. This is happening. Oh, crap. He doesn't give you anything anyway. Huh. <sighs> So, what I just did was, uh, I ran the bookshelf, as you saw, and knocked the book down. And what you can use the book for is, in the desert, you can translate Hylian text. So, well, not only in the desert, but anywhere, you can use the book to translate any ancient Hylian text that Link cannot read normally. So, in the desert is the first place we're going to use it. And, uh, and in the desert, <laughs> in the desert, we're gonna do the, oh, I can't believe I found that. In the desert, we'll use the power gauntlets, and we will, in fact, uh, beat the boss and get the, the, uh, I think it's the Pendant of Wisdom. I think that's what it is. And so my goal in this game, as Link, is I must gather all the Pendants. The Pendant of Courage, the Pendant of Wisdom, and... Oh man, I got hit, didn't I? And I'm going to go ahead and call the Desert a new zone, so I'm going to drink again. Yeah, you see, like, the ancient Hylian there. So what I gotta... Oops, that's the map. I love the map. This is so nostalgic right now. But, uh... So you have to equip the book, which I can't seem to do. There we go. And use it. Ah, oh, I'm a fool. I am a fool! There we go. Nope, there we go. Alright, so opening the way. So he prays. And opens it. Cool. Thanks, book, for being my bro. I walk up and I do the dungeon and I'm 35 minutes and 40 seconds in so I got 25 seconds to defeat this dungeon but I'm going to <laughs> I've just decided that I'm going to release the hour version of this video which is you know how far I got in an hour but I'm just, I am enjoying this so much right now that I'm going to go ahead and release the extended edition as well, where I just kept playing, and we'll see how long I go. We'll see how far I go before I just say, enough is enough, I need to stop, because I'm getting a little too drunk for my own good, and I need to take out a weapon before I get wrecked. Get some. Suck it. Thanks for the arrows, you friggin' jabroni. Yeah, that's right. I just called that guy a jabroni. Got a problem with that? Oh, yeah. I entered a dungeon, so I need a drink. Oh, man. Hitting the wrong button. <laughs> not drink, or sorry, not eating before I started drinking definitely has affected me. So, where I'm at right now, I've drank three blue moons, which are 5.4%, and I am a solid halfway through my blueberry ale from 
at the Atlantic Brewing Company. Oh, man, I'm such a fool! That's two hits. Oh, what a fool. Oh, my... I am so... Oh, that's four hits. Oh, what a fool! All right, it's dead at least. At least it's dead. So I'm solid halfway through this Atlantic Blueberry Ale. I'm going to go ahead and just drink four times. All right. I'm pretty deep into this right now. Oh, man. I feel like that... <laughs> Did I just shoot an arrow and it, like, didn't shoot? I don't know if I'm just, like, totally drunk right now or, like, if that actually just happened. I need to verify this while I am sober. But I'm going to drink again because I get hit. Oh, what a fool. I got hit again. Are you kidding me? Alright, so that's two drinks. Oh my... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna walk over here and do it. I apologize to those who are... Not thoroughly entertained by my drinking and my complete and utter lack of skill right now, currently in this game. I think I have to walk up here and get the... I have to, like, ram something. And... Get something in the, uh... Oh, oh my god. Alright, so I'm finishing up my first Atlantic Blueberry Ale. I'm gonna crack open the second one. So that's my fourth beer. Second one is cracked. Alright, let's do this. I'm 39 minutes in. I definitely will finish this dungeon. I have no doubt that I'll be able to finish this dungeon if I can get the controls correct <laughs> and not shoot arrows instead of charge like a freaking jabroni. Oh, I'm going to get swarmed. Oh, that's one hit. Screw that. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. I was drinking, so I didn't want to, like get owned by this guy by shoot who might be shooting fireballs. May or may not. I don't remember what color he was. I don't think the green ones do, but I wasn't taking any chances and I didn't pay attention post maybe they're blue. I don't know. I don't know what color they are. Color is subjective anyway. Oh my god. That was so close. I apologize. If I get hit at any time and don't drink for it, that's because I'm already drunk. And you guys have already hit the point where you've, like, seen me drunk. <laughs> I'm a fool. I am a fool. But, you know, this is fun. I'll roll with it. We'll make it work. I got the key. I don't know what I'm doing. I got a key. I'm going to go up and get the friggin' boss key. <laughs> so... I really appreciate anybody who is still watching after 41 minutes. I don't know why you'd still be watching this. <laughs> but, uh, no, like, uh, this is just fun. It's a fun little project I've decided to put together. If you guys are enjoying it, let me know. If, <laughs> if you're not enjoying it and you're still watching it, you probably should stop watching it and tell me that you don't enjoy it. Because then I'll try to find out a way for you to enjoy it. Screw it! Oh, man! You see that? That was great. <laughs> Just timed it perfectly, I guess. I think I got hit. I think I got hit. I don't know if I got hit at any point. But this is gonna... I'm gonna drink great now to make up for any of those. Alright. So... Ah, 
Alright, so I am 42 minutes and 30 seconds into it. I'm pr I'm almost 100% sure I can finish this. I got the boss key, right? What I get? Yeah, I got the boss key. I don't remember where the uh, gauntlets are. Oh, they're up here. And one of these. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And boom! Gauntlets! Sup! Eh, nah, that's not significant enough. Oh, I'm a fool! No, I'm trying to hit. I'm, <laughs> I'm so used to being at like end game with like the great sword, like the gold sword, so I could just smash that stuff. So I guess I'll drink after I get safe. All right, drink, drink is what I should say. But okay. For all of it. Work with me, people. So, I am really, really excited for the Wii U Legend of Zelda. Especially after that that, uh, that uh, Game Awards demo they showed like that shows so much promise and I'm really hoping it's good because I have not liked the only Zelda game I've liked in the past 10 years and by liked I mean loved is uh, A Link Between Worlds so I got hit so I just drank I'm sorry and I'm gonna go in here and since this is sub dungeon it's like a second part I'm gonna drink And I gotta move this block. Oh, are you serious? I didn't think that hit me. Alright. <laughs> Did I just shoot an arrow? <laughs> I didn't even mean to, but it saved me. <laughs> so we'll roll with it. We'll make it work. Oh, <laughs> this is so scary. Oh. All I have to do is this. And I know that. I know that's all I have to do, but I'm so scared still. I probably don't even have to hold it. Sorry, not hold it, but mash it. I'm sitting there mashing it. All I have to really do is hold it until, you know. Ooh. Ooh. So, 45 minutes in, I got 15 minutes. I'm definitely going to be able to beat this boss. That's no doubt. I am so thoroughly enjoying this right now. I'm definitely going to keep playing into uh, the Dark World. I, I don't think I'll be able to beat the third dungeon in the an hour, but... Uh, of course I got hit. Alright, let's do this. It's just so intense, I have to be quiet while I'm doing it. I'm pretty sure I could have grabbed that key at any time and just ran through, but I had to be careful. I'm, not, I'm trying to not get hit anymore, because I'm trying to not get drunk anymore. Get any more drunk, I should say. And lantern, and like these, and they open the path. Huzzah. So I've got 13 minutes. I'm at 47 minutes. We have 13 minutes until the hour mark is done. But if you want to keep watching, I think I will release a extended edition of this as well, where I keep I just keep going until I stop. I don't know when I'll stop. We'll find out.
Oh man, these boss. <laughs> this boss is hard, but it's definitely hard when you're like drunk. All right, so I got hit. So I drank once. Oh, twice. I can't believe I've only been hit twice. Then again, I can't believe all three of them are still alive. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, two drinks. And significant events. So that's three drinks. Three drinks. Boom. I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to pause the stopwatch. Because I have to pee. I'll be back. All right, all right. I am back with a vengeance. And I'm going to go ahead and start the stopwatch again. And I'm 48 minutes and 47 seconds into it. And I just got hit by a cactus like a fool. Let's see if I can get to the next dungeon. That'd be great. That'd be really cool. I know where to go. So it shouldn't be... A big deal. It shouldn't be a problem. That'd be cool if within an hour I was able to get to the third dungeon. <sighs> so like I said, I played this game a lot as a kid. So I don't want to say I know the ins and outs. <laughs> But I want to say I know most of the ins and outs. Um, I I can pretty much if I don't if I don't know a hundred percent where the heart pieces are, I know I could find them. That kind of deal. There's like probably two or three where I would is quite where it's questionable in my brain, but the rest of them I know. Pretty much no more. The biggest problem would be remembering if I had gotten ones before or not. That would be my biggest problem. And finding all the heart pieces. So, ten more minutes. Let's see if I can do this. Just getting into the third dungeon would be great. So. Ugh. Got hit. Alright, so. I'm gonna lift that while I'm lifting it. Drink. One handed kill. Sweet. Oh, 
Oh yeah, dude, I got your back. Let's do this. Old man Sam over here. I don't know, I just made up a name. Old man Sage. I don't know if he has an actual name or not. Talking about the golden power. Yeah, cool beans. Yeah, 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 turn. I know where to go. I already know where to go. I already know where to go, old man. Don't even tell me. Don't even tell Don't even tell me. I got this. All right, Death Mountain, boom, new area. So I went ahead and drank three times there, considering I got hit twice. <sighs> Dude, this dude's friggin' house is hardcore. Why would you live on the side of a deadly mountain? Thank you for healing me, old man. That's why I came inside in the first place. If you did not heal, I would not do such a thing. Ah! Oh, fool. Fool! And to think at the start of this, I was sober. <sighs> I don't even remember where to go. Am I going the right way? Nah, that's not the right way. Wait. That's not the way. Totally not the right way. Totally not the right way, but I got hit. I'm pretty sure the old man's house is not the right one. Like, you don't go into the old man's house. You could just I could have just walked around. Why would you live? In the side of a mountain, which constantly has boulders flying down the sides. So this area, as a kid, oh, it blew me away. It, it just blew me away. Just being able to see the forest down there, blew me away. Blew me away! Didn't even understand how that was possible. I was like, whoa, bro, too much. So I'm 53 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and use the mirror. Oops, that is not the right button for the mirror. Oh, <sighs> piece of heart. Shoo! No, but, like, for real, seeing the forest down there as a kid just inspired me. It just showed me. I don't know. <laughs> it, it seems silly, but it's like, the just seeing the forest down there made me realize how like the world in video games can be connected because prior to this game my experience was probably just like Mario and Pac-Man but I was like oh man like that is the forest and I've been to the forest before like that is a place I have been it's an interconnected world that's crazy like and that's probably why I love the original Dark Souls so much is because it's totally totally 100% Action adventure RPG with a completely interconnected world. And that's why I probably don't like 2 as much because the world isn't completely interconnected. That explains that. And I entered a dungeon. I just realized, so I'm going to drink. <coughs> I swallowed it down the red pipe. So, I am uh, at the end of my first, oh, my second Atlantic Blueberry Ale. Yes, uh, the second. I can't believe I've already drank a whole one. That's crazy. I don't remember finishing the whole one. <laughs> what the fuck? There's just two in the same spot. I didn't even notice them. Some five minutes until the hour's up. I'm such an idiot. Oh my god. Ugh. I'm sickened by my lack of skill right here. Oh, you idiot. You idiot! Go up here. I have to, like, focus so hard right now to figure out what I'm doing. 
I'm not at the point where I'm gonna like die or anything. Ah, oh, man, I am such an idiot. Where do I go? I'm so lost. Like I don't get lost in this level, but I'm lost right now. I went up, and I'm an idiot. And I shouldn't have gone up. That's where I get the fucking key. That's right. Suck my nut! Chill! Alright. So... Ah. Bottles, of course. It's a boomerang. It's free. So I got three minutes left almost. Uh, not much time left. Ah. Oh. Screw it! Ah! Ooh! Ooh! No! Oh man, it didn't open the door. Ugh, oh, I'm a fool. Absolute fool. I don't think I ever drank for entering this dungeon, so I'm gonna drink twice. There. Awesome. Alright, so I have to drink twice. And that finishes my second Atlantic Blueberry. And the second drink is going to come from my Heineken, from one of my Heinies. Cool. Alright. Screw it! <laughs> Shoot! Just run through it. Whatever. <sighs> Alright. I am not in a good place right now. 48 minutes, or 58 minutes. I mean... I think I'm going to... The extended edition will be me finishing this level. That's what the extended edition will be. I'll put it in an annotation right here. Uh, if you want to keep watching, go ahead and watch the finished, the extended edition of it where I finish the uh, third level. That's as far as I'm going to go. So, for those of you who are not interested or have not lasted this far or whatever, but for those of you interested in watching the extended edition, um, I will offer you, I will provide you with the link to such, and uh, for those of you who aren't, there's only one minute left, so I'm going to go ahead and say thank you for watching all the way through, I can't believe you did, that's crazy, because <laughs> this is, I feel like this shouldn't be entertaining, whether or not it is, I don't know, because, yeah, but thank you for watching. Um, liking, commenting, and subscribing is a thing you can or cannot do, and it is your decision whether or not you do such, so I'm not going to tell you to do it. I'm just not going to tell you, and I never will. I'm never going to tell you to do it. I'm never going to tell you to do it. But if you decide to do it, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I'm going to go ahead and drink because I got hit. But uh, if you're not going to stick around and finish it, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And goodbye, because it is the one-hour mark.